Vladimir Putin publicly berated his minister of industry and trade for, he says, acting too slowly in completing orders for military and civilian aircraft. Why are you falling around? It will be ready during this quarter based on the funds available under the budget. I want all of this to be done within a month. We will try to do our best. No, do not try to do your best. Please get it done in a month, no later. Joined now by CNN National Security Analyst Steve Hall, a former CIA Chief of Russian Operations, and CNN contributor Jill Doherty, a global fellow at the Woodrow Wilson Center. Um, Steve, it's interesting to see Vladimir Putin saying that. I mean, one, I would not want to be on the receiving end of that from any boss, let alone Vladimir Putin. But it's also clear Vladimir Putin wants to be seen as being tough on, you know, on this bureaucrat. Yeah, Anderson, this is obviously nothing nothing but show and showmanship. I mean, uh, Putin has done this before. He does it with oligarchs occasionally where he sort of upgrades and, and, and downgrades them uh, publicly. Uh, it, it, there's, of course, any number of ways that Putin could have done this privately, which would be sort of more in the Western tradition, where you sit down, uh, you know, a subordinate who's not performing well. But this is all for show. He wants to show that in the case of the war going badly, it's not his fault and that he's taking very, very strong measures against those whose fault it is. And my assessment is, is that'll play pretty well domestically with uh, with Russians who believe that to be the case. They always think the leader of the country is sort of above all of this and he just needs to lean on his people a little better. So I think it's for them and I think it'll play pretty well. Jill, do you agree this is public performance? Oh, there's no question. Uh, and remember, at the beginning of the war, he did basically the same thing in a shocking event uh, when he really excoriated, humiliated uh, the head of the SVR intelligence, Mr. Uh, Sergei Narishkin. He did the very same thing. I mean, and with a smirk on his face. So this is, as Steve was saying, this is classic Putin. Steve, Russia appointed Putin's chief of general staff as the military commander of what they're still calling a special military operation. What do you think that is about? I mean, what's Putin trying to accomplish with that move? Is it to have the next fall guy? Is it a sign of that the Russian forces are going to start to improve? You know, Kremlinology is, uh, is an opaque science at best. <laughs> it's really, really hard to try to figure out what is in Putin's mind. And that's there, because- There's generations there's probably... of intelligence folks who have tried to engage in Kremlinology or Sovietolo Sovietology. Yeah, I mean, it's a hard study because there's so much going on. I, you know, so you start from where Putin sees himself. First and foremost, the most important thing for Putin is it winning the Ukrainian war? That's important. Is it maintaining, you know, Russia as a great nation? That's important. But it's all about Vladimir Putin. It's all about himself preserving himself and his style of government. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to set people against each other to see who the strongest person is. Of course, if it doesn't go well, it's going to end up on the new, you know, the newly appointed commander, who's Gerasimov, who's been who's been around for quite a while. So this is no good thing for him. It's no great assignment to not be in charge of the Ukrainian war. But he's also setting himself. He's setting Putin is setting uh, Gerasimov up against uh, others in the Kremlin who are vying for power. Guys like Prigozhin, the head of Wagner. So this is there's all this politics going on some of which has to do with the war, much more it has to do with internal Kremlin politics. Jill, do you see the shuffling of responsibility as a sign of instability? I think it's a sign of um, frustration by, the pres by President Putin that the war isn't going well. I think it's also kind of a power shift you know, Putin's modus operandi for a long time uh, has been to kind of balance people who are below him. And they may have uh, very different viewpoints. I mean, look at what we were just talking about, this fight between Prigozhin, <coughs> the head of that private military contractor group, the Wagner Group, and he is in direct verbal uh, fight with the defense ministry. He is claiming credit for his guys taking Solidar. And so this, this is really extraordinary. And, you know, Putin has allowed this type of stuff to happen. And it's happening publicly. But 
the, in the old days, you would say, well, he won't let that go on for too long. But right now, we're not quite sure. I mean, can he hold it together? Is Prigozhin really, really getting powerful? You know, what's happening to the to the military? So there are a lot of questions, I think, that deal with um, Putin, the, Putin's ability to control the situation. Yeah. Jill Doherty, Steve Hall, it's fascinating. I appreciate it. Thank you.